Welcome to our SAT Vocabulary Week 13. Um, this is a remake of the previous video. Um, I was told um, by a kind student that there were some technical difficulties with it that I was unaware of. It looked fine on my end, but once um, it was uploaded to YouTube, I don't know what happened. So um, take two. Our SAT vocabulary for week 13 will have no uh, homework associated with it except for taking notes and placing it on the necessary page in your ILJ. So we'll get started. Our first word is enhance. And when we enhance something, we try to improve it, make it look better, um, make it feel better, um, just an overall better experience, whether it's something aesthetically done to its appearance or just improving it in, uh, in another way. A um, couple of examples that I provided for you here. When people um, try to sell their house, they will often do a lot of things to make it cosmetically look better. In order to enhance the value of their home, the Sullingers have kept it beautifully landscaped, and that makes it more appealing, it improves its appearance, and it will make it more um, marketable or sellable. An example here, Lucy enhanced her chances of getting into the best college by studying hard in high school. Our next verb this week is scrutinize. And when you scrutinize something, you um, take the time to look at it carefully with great detail, um, with critical eye, pay critical attention to it um, so that it's just the way you want it. Um, let's say you write a paper for a class. Um, chances are, at least you shouldn't, just type something up and boom, print it and be done with it. You should carefully read through it and scrutinize um, your words and the sentences that you've created and make sure that um, nothing needs to be corrected. Uh, if you want to buy a pair of shoes and you have 100 bucks in your pocket, uh, I doubt very much you're just going to walk into a shoe store, grab a pair of random shoes, uh, put them on the countertop, plunk down the money, boom, walk out. You're going to try them on, you're going to walk in them, you're going to carefully look at them, just make sure that they're made well. Um, you look them over carefully or scrutinize them. Our example here, in the cooking contest reality show Top Chef, Judges scrutinize the quality of the dishes made by the contestants. So they um, look at those and dishes and taste them very carefully and um, make sure that they're the best. Our third word this week is placate. And this is a synonym to one of the words we had previous this year, previously this year, appease. Um, so placate means to appease or soothe or pacify someone who is upset or um, hurt. Um, maybe you have, maybe you're babysitting a um, small child and he or she is crying. Um, often you'll pop a pacifier in the mouth and um, hold them, hug them, rock them, and placate them, make them feel better. And during basketball season, I don't think a week can go by without me poking at the um, UK fans. There was Nothing anyone could do to placate UK's Coach Cal after this year's loss to Arkansas. He does not look like he's easily placated in this particular photograph. He looks like he's a little worked up about something. Before we ever read the definition of disparage, I will tell you that I just disparaged Coach Cal. When you disparage someone, you speak of them with um, little respect, if any at all. You try to belittle them um, to others, or you criticize them heavily. Um, so disparaging is not a good thing to do in most cases, um, except maybe this one. Beth's mother was constantly making disparaging remarks about her daughter's boyfriend, Duke. Beth wondered if it had anything to do with his body art. Now, in this particular case, I want to point out to you that disparaging is used as an adjective here. It is describing the remarks, which is a noun. If I were to say Beth's mother disparaged her daughter's boyfriend, Duke, then I would be using it as a verb. So there is a little difference here, 
And um, when you're writing and reading sentences, you need to carefully examine how the word's being used so that, um, especially in writing, you make sure that you use it properly. Finally, our last word, lament. And when you lament something um, or for something, you are expressing or feeling a great deal of grief or regret about it. Um, you mourn for it. Uh, perhaps your boyfriend broke up with you and you lament his loss. Um, or someone has, um, who is dear to you has passed away. Um, you lament their death. You mourn their death. And here we have, for days, the saddened Gates family lamented the loss of their beloved Brittany Spaniel. So they were feeling um, grief and mourning over its loss. So there you go, week 13. Um, have a good evening.